the daily cleaning and maintenance of your i3 oven. To begin, make sure that the oven is cool and it says ready to clean in the display. To begin, we're going to open the oven and pull out the rack simply by lifting it up and also the oven and then sliding it on. There are two thumb screws located on the bottom jet plate. We turn those counterclockwise to loosen. They will not come out completely. But you'll feel when they give way. And you're going to lift the plate and slide out, and that's ready for cleaning. Now, in the back, our corner, there's an air diverter. That comes by just simply lifting up and pulling out. And those items are not, now ready to clean in the dish. We're now ready to begin cleaning the interior of the oven. I'm going to begin with a wet towel and I'm going to use Turbo Chef oven cleaner on it and I'm going to spray it liberally onto the towel. Never spray directly into the oven cavity because you don't want it to go into the back air returns and then it will be drawn into the catalyst system. And we're going to get all of the surfaces with the oven cleaner. Back, sides, now we get to the top, we have to be careful because the top has two glass areas where the uh, waveguide caps are. So we're just going to be gentle on that because they can break and that will result in a non-warranty call. On the oven door and all exterior. And then we're also going to do the same to the rack and bottom jet plate that we just removed from the oven. The cleaner has been on for about five minutes, so I'm going to go into my green 3M scrub pad and try to loosen some of the debris on all of the exterior surfaces. Interior. Work down the sides. And again, very cautioned at the top, very light scrubbing. Light pressure. You want to be careful around this seal not to damage it. Now we're going to take a wet towel with just water and wipe off all the excess cleaner from all the interior surfaces of the oven. Again, using extra caution on the top surface. Now lastly, I have one more moistened towel and I'm going to use Turbo Chef Oven Guard and again spray liberally on the towel and wipe all the surfaces. This will prevent food from adhering and sticking to it after we're done cleaning. Again, make sure you get all the surfaces. Next, we'll grab all of our clean parts and begin reassembly. Now we can begin reassembling the oven. This is the air diverter. Notice all these fins are going to the right. The short side is on the left hand side of the oven and there are two holes. These two holes, there are two male pins in the back and this goes over on top and we'll seat over them. Next will be in our clean jet plate with the two thumb screws. There's two slides here, just gently rest that in there and that'll slide right in the back and down in and that should get us really close to 
setting the screws. And just take about five or six turns clockwise to tighten. And then our rack. The rack has four male pins and there are four female slots here that you have to place them in. Clean the oven. I'm going to take a stainless steel cleaner, spray that onto a cloth, and wipe down all the exterior surfaces to remove the fingerprints and get a nice shine to the oven. Take filter. This should be checked at least once a week and cleared of any debris. You can do this by running it under cold water and air drying. Then just simply placing that here in the slot, and your oven is now ready for use.